Hey guys, what's up? You are me, Tree Boy for Life. I just wanted to show you this um, video here um, of what is involved with um, having a channel, a YouTube channel, and what might, you know, some of the things that could help you out, especially with regards to tree work. We're doing action videos, so what you could, some things you need and some things that, you know, can help you along. I'm going to share some tips and I'm going to show you kind of like my setup and what I got going on. Um, I got an Apple, a MacBook Pro. And what you'll need, of course, you need an action cam. I got the Air Ion Pro or Air Pro 3 Air Ion, however you want to call it. And, um, iPhone 6, have another iPhone. It's a backup right there, it's just for parts. So I don't even know if this thing even come on. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I got a change of battery, called myself doing it, but it didn't work. Um, SD cards. Um, mini sd cards and if you don't know what a mini sd card is i'll show you now i'm doing this with one hand practically so bear with me i heard it so a mini sd card is something like this i'm pulling out the back of this camera that's why i like these this and this one right here so you can see it's 64 gigabytes that's when i'm shooting the big videos and um so that's something you might need, you know, depending on what kind of camera you got, you might can hook it up to the computer or whatnot, you know, so you figure that out. You'll need um, accessories with the, with the cameras. Now I got two other cameras, two backups that I keep on, on standby in case I need them. And I have all the accessories to the cameras, all the straps and cords and everything you can think of. Yeah, I'll try to help me, you know, selfie sticks, things for your channel that you can use, you know, depending on what you got going on. Um, another thing that I found, and sometimes why you might see where, okay, where's Fernando been? And, and partly, too, what, what kind of holds me up is when I run out of memory. Now, this is only a 500 gigabyte computer. Um, I normally am real cheap, so I don't try to buy full price nothing, but... I bought this um, first one I bought at um, Mega Thrift, which is a thrift store. Second one I got off eBay. I think for these two together, I paid less than 50 bucks. That's one of them is 500 gigabytes and one is um, a terabyte or maybe two terabytes. I can't think. But a terabyte, if you don't know, is just a, a humongous amount of gigabytes. The next phase up. This is a four terabyte. And this is a 1.5 terabyte. It's a Porsche design. These are laces. And I landed this cool box when I first bought this lacy. All the extra parts. And I'll show you what lacy, how it's spelled and everything. And this is a good, good brand, especially if you deal with Mac. And you can find some really good deals with stuff. So I got all that stuff there to help me. And this box was a, is a lacy box actually made for one of these. So if I need to ship it to myself or something, or not really to myself, I don't travel a lot, but you know, I just got everything I need to move it around. Let's say ship it around. Also, so you need some kind of hard drive because again, sometimes when I, when I max out a hard drive, and that's why you sometimes might need an extra one, like I got here, um, which is a, a 500 gigabyte, it's a Toshiba. I want for the Mac here. And you might just need one one day, so you have to either have an extra hard drive, maybe to swap out, or you're gonna have to have external hard drives like all these components are here. These two and those two right there. I'm gonna shift these over a little bit because we're done with those. So it, again, it, it kind of it kind of hampers me sometimes where I'm not able to really do what I need to do because if I'm out of memory, I'm out of space, the computer runs real slow, it's just real crazy. But that's a horse of another kind. We'll get all into that. Also, now here is a, um, a Windows, the Evertech. This is a hard drive too. It's 100, 250 gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. But you have to have the Windows M MFTS system. So this is not compatible with the Windows. I mean, Windows is not compatible with the with the Mac, the OS. Um, so this is just the extra one I found. But I, I ended up paying like seven bucks for that, maybe at a um, thrift store. But it works. But I just can't use it. But you, you're gonna have to kind of get you some kind of little hobby kit, you know, with screwdrivers and things like that, because you'll find yourself, you know, working on your phones. If you got iPhone or working on your computer, if you got computer parts and and working on little stuff, you have to work on the camera, you know, just like we got tools and stuff to take care of our chainsaws or whatever we do. Same way with managing a channel, 
And um, and I'm gonna close this just a second, but I'm gonna show you what I've done on the back of my my uh, MacBook Pro and then too because when you're editing, sometimes it's real hot. So actually, I've actually took the back of mine completely, the all the screws I've unscrewed everything. So whenever I need to grab that hard drive, I just pop it out. Just unscrew the screws right there, and boom, I pop the new hard drive in if I need one. I hadn't had to change anything else. Fortunately, the battery is really really good. Um, I put some new memory. Um, cards in there I got four gigabytes so I got about eight gigabytes of RAM on here and there's the fan of course so, you know every little thing you'll, you'll need and you'll see so um that's about the only thing I think I've changed on here maybe this cable that runs from the motherboard to the to the um to the hard drive I think that's the only thing I've changed this is a mid or late 2012 model MacBook Pro that I have here and um Again, it's just a beautiful thing to have. I mean, that's just me. I like Apple, but you can do the same thing with Windows 10 or whatever you got. Microsoft Service Pro, whatever you got. You can maybe do what you need to do. But in other words, too, you're going to have to um, learn how to navigate through a channel. Like if you have a... Um, put it in my wallet for me, please. If you have a um, channel, you're going to have to learn how to navigate through it. And see here... Here's my video. See, as of now, I have 502 videos, whether they might, some of them might be private or however the situation may be. But you can see here, you'll have to learn your channel once you get your channel. And channels are normally free to start, but trying to update your channel and keep it going, keeping it fresh and everything, keeping new content, it's a challenge too. I'm telling you with life, especially with us, we're doing tree work. But I have a bunch of people I subscribe to, and I'm going to show you that a little further. But see, I can monitor what's going on, my views. And I am monetized, by the way, because I have so many um, subscribers and this, you know, didn't just happen overnight. It took me forever to be a partner, but I make some money on here, but not enough to, to justify anything, really. Um, but you'll see. And then I'm not really getting views like that. You know, um, some channels that put a video out, they're getting thousands of views in one day. See, I posted that June 18th and then it's only like a thousand some views, which I'm not mad at. Don't get me wrong. That's perfect. But you have to learn again, you know, with your videos and, and managing that part and, and just knowing some of the basics, you know, some of the things that will be. And they, this is the old, um, 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 they call it the YouTube studio or creator studio. And they're actually going to change it over to YouTube studio before long, which is so different from this layout. It's ridiculous. So I, I can't even get into that. But that's some things you'll need, again, to keep your videos. Once you're getting the videos, you know, in and you get your content. Um, and, and another thing, let me show you, let me show you this. You definitely need, um, some editing software. So you have to figure out what in the world, um, am I going to choose whether it's a Sony Vegas or is it something else? And that's what I use here. So you can tell, and these, like you can see, this is the mega pecan set up to that big old pecan tree I did a while back. Um, I think that's all I had a bunch more, but I delete them. As they go, here's miscellaneous tree clips. So you have to learn how to navigate through a. Um, and I'm gonna go to this one so I can show you um, pretty much the, the, what what it was entailed in, in editing. I mean, you've seen people do it, um, and you might have to do it. But this is basically the same video that I just put out. I just put out today, actually, and I edited it today. But you'll see how you can change things and how I place little you know captions and things like that. And you'll see how they show up in the video. See how I can scroll along. And same way. And there's a little snippet from me doing it. Well, that's my first drone. Um, at, see, nobody has seen me in a drone. So I was just like, wow, let me get some drone footage and just piece it in there. You know, and then, and then here's the, the big oak trees that I cut down. And so that's, again, you have to get familiar with some kind of editing software, whatever the situation may be. So um, you can do that. So I'm going to quit our movie. See if I can go to my now. Okay, now I'm back to the channel. So again, once you you know do your editing and everything, you get all the footage, and that's the thing. You'll find yourself running out of footage. You need to get as much footage as possible as you possibly can to be able to do this. And also, what you have here too, you have to learn how to interact with the people that you're you're involved with. Like I have a lot of people here. Shout out to Doug Smith. There's um. I have a newcomer here, um, Mark Evans. Uh, maybe not even necessarily new, you know, just I, I've been away for a little while, so I hadn't been caught up on my comments like normally. And there's Alan. He comments a lot of the time on my videos. Shout out to you, Alan. 
and it just goes on and on. Look at Walter Waller and so many more. Nathan, Robert English, Gabe, and Poplar Mechanic. And, it's, and it goes on. So I can monitor all my comments and the videos that they commented on. And like I said, I'm so far behind. But at the same time, you can go through and you're able to, now you're able to at least like and, and then you can put a heart beside it, meaning that you love to comment. Because sometimes I'm not able to, sometimes, you know, there's not always words to comment. So you can just say, you know, acknowledge the fact that somebody did comment on your channel. And you might not be in a position to always write right away. But that lets you know that, hey, if you see that more than likely, I've at least read your comment and I've acknowledged you. Um, and I try to subscribe to pretty much everybody who subscribes to me, if at all possible. And I might miss some. But here's another thing when growing your channel, which you have to do too. You have to learn how to interact with um, other YouTubers. Like for me, I like arbor 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 culture, anything trees and, and growing and things like that. And I'm still learning myself. I got a lot to learn. And um, fishing, I like a little bit of um, hunting. There's um, sports, of course, football, basketball for me here in America. In case you're from another country, I know in other places of soccer or, 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 or European, you know, football, as they like to call it, so soccer, other things. You know, it's all kinds of sports everywhere, but, you know, certain channels you subscribe to. But in particular, with, with if you're trying to grow your channel for tree work, here's what I found that helps. I'm going to filter out something um, and, and use that filter really good because it'll help you. What you want, and I normally do it either by week or monthly basis, so let's say this week. I want to look up arborists. So all the arborist videos that posted this week. See, we got Red Coats, and he's really good. This guy, I'm telling you, one of he's in my top three on here. There's about three guys on here in particular, three to five guys that I just really am just amazed by. But you can see his video. There's this guy, um, Pat Carlson. I think that's how you pronounce him, but he's in UK, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember exactly, but he's really big. He's His channel just done blew up. And see, he just put his video out one week ago and it's 7.2 thousand so this is how you not only interact with the higher up so to speak with the um um the videos because red coats i mean bunches of subscribers and bunch of videos of course there's human human um shout out to you human too i know god guide you doing well and your, your channel is just doing amazing um and there's so many and and you can see the videos that everybody puts out but what you normally look for like most of these people i'm subscribed to believe it or not so what I ended up doing is I look for people who are new, like like if this guy right here, Gerard, Tree, Care, Tree and Lawn Care, if I wasn't subscribed to them, I'd touch on him like this. And once I go to his page, it'll take me to his page. And see, I'm already subscribed, so I don't have to subscribe to him to, to interact with him. But look at that beautiful crew of people and look like they're doing some big things. Amazing. It's another channel for you to check out, though. Um, but I'll go through and, and I'll subscribe. See, I've, and I've subscribed to so many tree companies. It's just amazing. But look at this Forever Wild Arborist right here, Raphael Gruyan. Let's see if I'm subscribed to him. So I'm not. But what I like to look for mostly is that do they have a lot of tree videos? Like I look at where their videos are, like, you know, how many they have. I look at who they've subscribed to, some of their proper channels. You know, you can go through, a, you can look to about, you know, you can go all into it to really look up people. But you try to figure out who it is you want to subscribe to and why because again i like tree work so i like to actually find actual tree guys and and i'll subscribe to them and and believe it or not i've subscribed to probably five ten thousand people and sometimes it'd be years before they subscribe back so it kind of pays off that pays dividends on top of all the new people that you have subscribing to your channel if your content's good or if you're building your channel so it's one of those things that you have to keep again just nurturing of course, TreeStuff.com, they made a video here, and then, who is this right here? Yo, I can't pronounce your name, good, but real Corolla Co. Tree Climber, it's just amazing. I mean, I've subscribed to a lot of these people. Like, here's another guy, Hugo Ali. I don't think I've subscribed to his channel, but it looks like he's topping a the tree there. See, boom, I look at his video, and I see, or I look at his channel. He's got chainsaw. I'm looking at his videos. He has trees. Boom, I hit the subscribe button. Just like that. So I'll get his videos or I'll come through later on and watch his videos and check him out. Might comment or do whatever I do. That way you interact with people and you get, get yourself out there. And that'll help you out. But you can do that not only with Arborist, but that's how you got to put your channel out there. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. But that's why I'm showing you here to help you with your channel. And this, again, some of the things like in the background that you can see that, you know, can help you with, 
you know, as far as repairing and, and then just storing all your, your footage and doing things of that nature. So, um, and here, let me see here. I'm going to go back to um, the video manager or no, I'm going to go to subscribers for myself. So, you know, and this is another thing. See how like people who subscribe, you can see who all subscribe to you and then you can go subscribe back. So I, the way I normally do this because they only let you subscribe to so many people at a certain time, I'll kind of bounce around. I'll subscribe to like maybe a hundred every other day or every day because I don't want them to think I'm a robot. But you'll see how some be subscribed and then some will be subscribed. So you'll notice some people I've subscribed to and some I haven't. But so far to date, today is um, the 28th, I think, of um, of um, September 2018. Um I have 7,488 subscribers. And to date, if I went to my video manager, and even I'll, I'll just go ahead and take you to my dashboard. Let's see. Um, you can pretty much see everything. I mean, I'm not trying to hide enough from you guys. You guys, I can see again, everybody who's liked, even my video here, somebody already disliked it. Um, just posted that, 22 likes, um, five comments and things like that. So you see the whole thing, the analytics. See, it's amazing how they break it down. Just so far in the last 28 days, I've had 162,641 minutes. That's a total of 34,000 something views, 215 plus subscribers, and then that's the revenue. So like I said, I'm not making a killing, but it's something. And this is over a month and you have to, and the threshold is a hundred bucks too. So I need to tell you guys that whenever you do a follow, become a partner, your channel is monetized. You'll have to make at least a hundred bucks so you won't get paid out. It'll, it'll carry over until you build that up. Then they'll pay you out a month following. And so far to date, I've had 2,169,574 um, views. That's lifetime views of my channel. So that's pretty much what I'm up to. And this is um, since 2011. Um, so again, it's just one of them things. And it's just, you know, you can go through all your videos. And I'll even show you like if and I do this to myself to you again, monitoring your channel, trying to figure out what in the world is really, you know, what in the world are people really watching? You know, that way you'll know what's the kind of content to put out. But I'm going to type in. I'm going to go to the to the sort. And if you search videos and I just did that, I, I touched on most views. So I went over here to sort that pops up public, unlisted, monetized, non monetized, and it goes on through there. But here are all my most viewed videos. A lot of video, this video, a lot of people don't like because they're like, who are you to be telling people how to climb trees and everything? But at any rate, that's my most viewed video. And that's really just a simple video about putting on spikes, and which is unbelievable, but it has over 200,000 hits on it. And you can see I've had over 2,000 likes and 170 dislikes, over almost 400 comments. And it goes on from there. There's that really dangerous tree I climbed. And I've commented so many times with people, you know, tell, you know, you'll go back and forth with folks on here about things, but you can just see the analytics and it goes on and on and on. And you can see um, a lot of videos and a lot of, um, and see, I'll even come on here and I watch my favorites. Like I really love this video, the monster maple takedown because it was short and sweet. One of my first really good edits I think I've ever had in my life. Um, it's one of them weird things. And I use my channel too, to kind of monitor my progress because I lose a lot of footage too. Sometimes I have to delete it, but it's just one of them things, you know, so I'll use and what I, and the reason I watch my videos on my editing page is so that YouTube couldn't come back and say, Hey, you were, you were clicking on ads or something like that. Cause sometimes that kind of plays into the picture and you might lose your, um, your partnership. So, um, again, this is how you can do that. And this app, but I do that from this edit page. And if it ever does that, you just got to expand out and then expand in. There's some weird little thing. But um, that's what you have there. But you see, that's how the editing page would be when you're editing your videos and you can go on and on. But that's one of them things. But I'm not going to go all into this, guys. I just wanted to show you guys a little couple of um, tricks and tools, you know, to help you with your channel um, and some things that, you, you know, you might not have known. I am going to do the pricing video, how I price trees and how I price when I um, do my um, contract climbing. I want to do this to help you guys out because, again, you know, what benefit would it be to hold all this information in if I couldn't show you guys, you know, especially a lot of you guys like me, we're just trying to start off and trying to make something happen. And YouTube might be the avenue for you, although, like I say, you won't make a killing, but eventually you might be one of those guys. Like, um, let's see, if I went to Arborist, 
I'm going to research Arbo. I'm just, I can't even type it in. Let me just click on it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm typing in, talking at the same time. So now I want to filter out. We want the view count. So we want to see who's the biggest arborist on here. Look who pops up first. August Hunnicutt. Then you have the climbing arborists, you know, and you have all those pages of people, you know, you got climbing ar arborists and you got a few videos, but you'll have people pop up, you know, on there. Um, Parker, Hassan, he pops up and you just go through and you just really see like these guys, you know, still, of course, they got buku subscribers and everything. Look, I even made the front page. Ain't that crazy? Although I don't have a lot of the, the content, you know, like maybe some other guys have, but I do have videos that people again they like so you'll be able to again just you know you see who's who in the tree world of course arbitrary arboriculture is really kind of small in scope so there's not that many people that's actually just looking for tree work videos although there is like take for instance August video here it has two million something views on it which is just amazing and then even with him though he had to fight the people um, because of the copyright on the, the music that he used and they didn't even pay him for a long time for the video but you can imagine he finally got all that cleared up to where they're taking care of him now. And now his channel just done exploded. I mean, he's he's the who's who when it comes to video editing. Um, I don't think nobody can light a candle pretty much to what he's done. And a lot of people have, have really learned. And, and it's just amazing. But you see different people and different techniques and different things. And you learn from that. You build on that to help your channel build. And you see these guys who are, are potentially making a lot of money. And one other guy... I just want to shout him out because he's just a, an, an amazing guy. Um, let's see here. Buck and Billy Ray. And his channel. Yeah, I remember when he, well, not when he first started, but when I first connected with him on YouTube. But look at this. This is unreal. He has almost 30,000 subscribers. He has a thousand something videos, almost 2,000 videos. And this guy is so down to earth, so cool. I mean, and he puts videos out like, I just say like really like a madman, which is just amazing. But he done built his channel. He built his brand. He's selling merchandise. He's doing things. And he's obviously making some money from YouTube. Even if it's not a whole lot, it's something. So he's able to keep doing what he loves to do, show the world, share his story. And we're able to go and walk his journey with him as he does what he does. And um, same way, like I appreciate you guys doing what you do for me and you helping me out. So, again, just thank you so much. And um Keep doing whatever you have to do to build your channel up. Don't don't even think about it like, you know, like nobody will never know who you are, but you just have to just keep trying. Because I'm going to be honest with you, the way my channel got big, believe it or not, there was a guy, I want to say his name was Joshua Rudd or Rug. I couldn't remember, but he shared my um, videos on Tree, um, Tree Buzz, when Tree Buzz first came out. And when he did that, what ended up happening was that all my... Um, all of a sudden, my videos went up like thousands. A couple of them hit over a thousand, like overnight. So people was just checking me out that never knew, you know. Of course, and it's different seeing a black guy doing tree work too in some areas, because you know it's just it just is what it is. But you know, so you had those guys who came and looked at my channel. Then YouTube was having like a partner program. It was like they was doing like a um, what is it called? Like an experimental partner program with people who didn't have a lot of um, subscribers but had a lot of views on their videos in a short period of time and I'm talking about a thousand video views overnight which was really not that much you know but that's how I was able to become a partner thanks to that guy so you never know what will happen you got to get your view counts up and you got to get your minutes watched I forget all the protocol that there is now but anyways I'm not going to talk you guys half to death thanks so much for watching I hope this helps check my channel out complete keep, keep doing what you do and, and I hope your channel just explodes as well and you're on the right. You do whatever you have to do to, to be who you are going to be and show people who you are and let them walk that journey with you. And another thing, you got to keep your channel clean. Um, try to keep it as clean as possible because the way YouTube now is family friendly. So try to, you know, cuss words and things like that. That's why even music. So you don't have no copyright, even though unless you have uncopyrighted music or if you make your own. That way you can keep your revenue screams or streams coming if, if that's the case, if that's what you, you anticipate doing. If you don't have the content that's just bringing people in left and right. But again, thanks guys. Peace out. Join me, True Work for Life.